Worship is about promise. La adoración se trata de promesa. Worship is I decided to love you because you love me first. The Lord is so beautiful. El Señor es tan precioso. You know, it doesn't matter what we go through. No importa por lo que usted esté pasando. It doesn't matter the challenges that come our way. O el desafío que venga hacia usted. As long as we seek him. Mientras tanto, usted se mantenga buscándolo a él. And as long as we seek to honor his name. Y usted busque honrar su nombre. Jesus will always be there to defend you. Jesucristo siempre estará ahí para defenderle. Tonight is a night of identity. Esta noche se trata de identidad. When I look around at the world outside. Cuando veo el mundo afuera. Every time I see the news. Cada vez que veo las noticias. I see how the enemy is trying to steal our veo identity. Veo como el enemigo está tratando de robar nuestra identidad. He's trying to fill us. Tratando de llenarnos. With a worldly identity. Con una identidad mundana but that is not the identity mundana, that God has for you pero esa no es la identidad que Dios tiene para usted God has a very special identity for each and every one of you here Dios tonight Dios tiene una identidad muy especial para cada uno de ustedes en esta noche He has a special anointing for your life tiene una unción especial para su vida He has a special purpose and call for each one of you un propósito y llamado especial para cada uno de ustedes He has a special call for each person on the internet un llamado especial para cada persona en el internet and tonight y en esta noche I feel the Lord wants to equip you siento que el Señor quiere equiparle with the tools that you need to necesita, discover that identity that is in you. You see, God knew you usted, el Señor los conocía, before you were even born. Desde antes que usted fuera formado, and he's seen his plan and purposes for your life. Y él ha visto los y para su vida. But the problem is we spend too much time listening to the enemy instead of walking in the promises of God. En vez de en la de Dios. So to illustrate this tonight, the Así Lord's, Lord's going to take us into his word en esta noche el Señor nos va a llevar and we're going to look at three individuals y vamos a ver a tres individuos that knew their identity que conocían su identidad. and we're going to look and see how y vamos a ver cómo the example that they give us el ejemplo que ellos nos dan is going to bring blessings to our lives va a traer bendición amen? A su vida. amen now you probably know these three individuals by their worldly names Usted quizá conoce estos tres individuos por sus nombres mundanos. because you see every time you have a plan and a destiny for the Lord the enemy will always try to put his identity on you El enemigo siempre va a tratar de forjar amen su identidad sobre usted. but Pero, we need to shake off those worldly identities tenemos que echar un lado esas identidades mundanas so that we can rise up and walk in the identity that God para has poder given us. Y caminar en la identidad que Dios nos ha dado. So like I said, you probably know these three individuals already, Así que como les dije, ya quizás usted conoce estos tres individuos, but you know them by their Babylonian names, pero los conoce por sus nombres babilónicos. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Esos tres nombres. Shadrach, Shadrach Meshach, Meshach, and Abednego. Y Abednego. See, Israel had fallen away from God. They had forgotten God's ways. They had received the gods of other lands. They had erected idols in their land. And God led them let them be taken into captivity y Dios los que a by the Babylonians. Por los Now that's not much different than the world we live in today. I look around and I see Yo miro y veo how we've forsaken God's laws, ¿Cómo hemos un lado la ley de Dios? how we have turned from His Word, ¿Cómo hemos dado una a su how we have erected idols in our land and in our hearts, en en and God y Dios is turning us over nos está entregando to those false gods. a esos dioses ajenos. But there's hope. Pero hay esperanza. There's always hope. Siempre hay esperanza. And tonight this message is a message of hope. Y en esta noche esto es un mensaje de esperanza. So when we look at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, cuando vemos a Misael, Sadrach, y Abednego, they had Hebrew names. Ellos tenían nombres hebreos. They had names given by God. Tenían nombres que habían sido dados por Dios. But the enemy changed their names. Pero el enemigo les cambió su nombre. And it's interesting when you look at the meanings of their uh, Babylonian names. Y es interesante cuando usted ve el significado de sus nombres babilónicos. Shadrach. Sadrach means commandment of the moon god. Significa mandato del dios de la luna. Meshach Misael says who is what Aku is. Significa quién es lo que Aku es. Aku was a Babylonian god. Aku era un dios babilónico. And this name was saying. Y su nombre significaba. Huh, who else is like Aku? Quién más es como el dios Aku? And 
Abednego, y Abednego means servant of Nebu. Significa un, ser, un siervo de Nebu. Another Babylonian god. Otro dios babilónico. So the enemy, Así que el enemigo, by placing these names on these three servants of God, a través de poner estos nombres en estos tres siervos, was, was trying de Dios, to was trying to confuse their identity. Él estaba tratando de torcer su identidad. The enemy was focusing their attention. El enemigo estaba enfocando la atención on the gods of that world. En los dioses de este mundo. He was focusing their attention. Enfocando su atención on worshiping the gods of that world in that day. En adoración a los dioses de ese día y de ese mundo. And that's much like what the enemy does to us today. Y eso es muy parecido a lo que el enemigo hace con nosotros hoy You may día. have a label on you. Usted puede tener que tenga un sello sobre usted. You may etiqueta. have the label of someone who's addicted. Una etiqueta de alguien que es adicto. You may have the label of a person filled with anger. Etiquetado como alguien con ira. Maybe the label maybe the enemy put a label of rejection on you. Quizás la etiqueta en usted es de ser rechazado. All these things Todas estas cosas have one purpose un solo to pull your focus off of God de de Dios and put your focus on the things of the enemy. Y en las cosas del Amen. Amen. These three individuals though Estos tres they weren't focused on the things of the enemy. Ellos no estaban enfocados en las cosas del enemigo. They were focused on the things of God. Ellos estaban enfocados en las cosas de Dios. And as we go through the word, y a medida que vamos por la palabra, we're going to see podemos ver how they overcame and how they triumphed. Cómo ellos vencieron y pudieron sobrepasar estos So obstáculos. I want you to tell your neighbor tonight. Así que dígale a su vecino en esta noche. There is triumph. Hay victoria for the things para las cosas that the enemy is trying to bring to my life. Que el enemigo está tratando de poner en mi vida. Remember, this is a message to the remnant. Recuerden, esto es un mensaje para su remanente. Is everyone here a part of the remnant? Todos ustedes son parte del remanente. Amen. So this message has been designed for your life. Este mensaje fue diseñado para su vida. Because in this season, porque en esta temporada, the enemy is doing everything he can. El enemigo está haciendo todo lo posible. To put his label, para poner su sello, on the life of a believer. En la vida del creyente. He's doing everything he can. Él está haciendo todo lo posible. To steal away our hope. Para robarle su esperanza. He's stealing everything he can. To, he's doing everything he can to steal away our joy. Haciendo todo lo posible para robarle su gozo. But tell your neighbor tonight. Pero dígale a su vecino. I'm part of the remnant. Yo soy parte del remanente. And that is not going to happen to me. Y eso no me va a pasar a mí. Because God has an identity for me. Porque Dios tiene una identidad para mí. Amen. I want you to come with me to Daniel chapter 3. Quiero que vayan a Daniel capítulo 3. And we're going to look at different portions of this chapter. Y vamos a ver diferentes porciones de este capítulo. Because in this chapter, Porque en este capítulo, I feel there are clues for the remnant. Siento que hay claves para el remanente. There are clues for your life. Hay claves para su vida. To be able to overcome. Para que pueda vencer. To be able to rise up. Para que pueda levantarse. And to be able to walk in your identity. Y caminar en su identidad. So are you ready? Están listos? Amen. Hallelujah. Let's look at verse number 8. Vamos a ver el versículo 8. Now, you got to understand the back story a little bit. Ahora, hay que entender el antecedente de esta historia. When the king of Babylon Cuando el rey de Babilonia brought the Jews over to um, Babylonian, trajo the Babylon, a Babilonia, he not only brought them over, no tan solo los trajo, but he erected a gold idol, a statue, él levantó un ídolo, una estatua, six stories tall, de seis edificios, si and he made decir. a decree in all the land, y él en toda la and he said, if anyone will not bow down and worship que this si idol, no doblaba rodilla para adorar a este ídolo, we're going to throw them into the fiery furnace. Van a ser tirados al horno de fuego. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were different. Pero Sadrach, Mesach y Abednego eran diferentes. Because they refused Porque ellos se rehusaron to bow down to that false god. a dar rodilla a estos dioses ajenos. They bowed, they, they refused to bow down se rehusaron a arrodillarse and give in to the things of this world. y ceder a las cosas del mundo. Because they knew their promise came from heaven. Porque ellos sabían que su promesa venía de los cielos. That's the same place your promise comes from tonight. Y ese es el mismo sitio que su promesa viene Amen. en esta noche. Amen. So let's look at Daniel chapter 3 verse 8. Vamos a ver Daniel capítulo 3 versículo Therefore, at that time, certain Chaldeans came forward and accused the Jews. Por esto, en aquel tiempo, algunos varones caldeos vinieron y acusaron maliciosamente a los judíos. They spoke and said to King Nebuchadnezzar, "O king, live forever." Hablaron y dijeron al rey Nabucodonosor, "Rey, para siempre vive." 
You, O king, have made a decree that anyone who hears the sound of the horn, flute, harp, lyre, and um, psaltery in symphony with all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the gold image. Tú, oh rey, has dado una ley que todo hombre, al oír el son de la bocina, de la flauta, del tamboril, del arpa, del salterío, de la zampoña, y de todo instrumento de música, se postre y adora la estatua de oro. And whoever does not fall down and worship shall be cast into the midst of a fiery burning furnace. Y el que no se postre y adore se echado dentro de un horno de fuego ardiendo. There are certain Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not paid due regard you. They do not serve your gods or worship the gold image which you have set up. Hay unos varones judíos, los cuales pusiste sobre los negocios de la provincia de la Babilonia, Sadrach, Mesach y Abednego. Estos varones, oh rey, no te han respetado. No adoran tus dioses ni adoran la estatua de oro que has levantado. The first thing that you need to understand, lo primero que tenemos que entender, when you make a decision to follow the Lord, cuando usted toma la decisión de seguir al Señor, the enemy el enemigo is going to try to bring accusations against your life. De levantar acusación sobre su vida. Because you see, the enemy doesn't want you walking in your true identity. Porque ve usted, el enemigo no quiere que usted camine en su verdadera identidad. He knows that if you walk in your true identity, you're going to be a threat to his kingdom. Él sabe que si tú caminas bajo su identidad, vas a ser un temor para su reino. So the first thing that he's going to do Así que lo primero que él va a hacer is he's going to begin accusing you. Él va a empezar a acusarlo. He's going to begin saying a decir Oh, look, this person doesn't fall with the world. Ay, mira, fulano, no sigue la palabra. Look at that person. They're such a freak for Jesus. Mira que le están locos por Jesús. Oh, look at that person. Ay, mira aquella. They go around quoting the word of God all day. Van diciendo la palabra todo el día. These things are all designed Estas cosas todas fueron diseñadas to put doubt in your mind. Para poner duda en su mente. They're all designed todo fue diseñado to steal away your hope. Para robar su esperanza. They're all designed to wear you todo down and break you down. Fue diseñado para quebrantar y romperlo y gastarlo. But that is not the plan that God has for you. Pero ese no es el plan que Dios tiene para su vida. When you walk in your true identity, cuando usted camina en su verdadera identidad, you can be sure. Usted puede estar seguro. The enemy will come against you. Que el enemigo se va a levantar en contra de usted. This church, this house. Esta casa has been called ha sido llamada to a very special identity. A una identidad muy especial. We've been given a portion Hemos sido dados una porción of that remnant anointing. De esa, esa unción de remanente. We've been walking in that identity, Hemos caminado en esa moving identidad, forward to that identity, prosiguiendo hacia esa declaring identidad, what the Lord has given us, declarando lo que el Señor nos ha dado, and the enemy has been trying to come against y el enemigo us. Está tratando de venir en contra de usted. But we're still here. Pero aún estamos aquí. We're still giving glory to the Lord. Dándole gloria al Señor. We're still bringing honor to His name. Dándole honor a su nombre. We're still preaching the truth. Predicando la verdad. That brings blessings to the Lord. Y eso trae bendición al That Señor. That brings blessings to His name. Eso trae bendición a su nombre. But I also want you to look at what happened in verse 10. Pero también quiero que vean lo que pasó en el versículo 10. Oh King, you have made a decree. Tú, oh Rey, has dado una ley. The enemy has made a decree against your life and against your identity. decretado una ley en contra de su vida y de su identidad. And the only way to overcome that decree y la única forma de vencer este decreto is to understand es de entender what the Lord has for you. Lo que el Señor tiene para usted. It's to understand the power and the authority that you have in Him. Es de entender el poder y la autoridad que usted tiene a través de Él. Because see, you just don't have an identity. Porque usted no tan solo tiene una When identidad. you walk in that identity, cuando usted camina His en esa power, identidad, su poder, His authority, su autoridad, His anointing su unción, is released over your life. sobre su vida. And the enemy doesn't like that. Y el enemigo no quiere esto. He wants to try to snuff that out. Él quiere tratar de sacárselo, arrebatárselo. But tell your neighbor. Dígale a su vecino. The enemy's not stealing my joy. El enemigo no me está robando mi gozo. He's not stealing no me va a robar my anointing. Mi unción. I'm claiming that anointing tonight. Estoy a, a, eso I'm going to claim that power and authority Yo estoy tonight. Y agarrando esa unción autoridad Amen. Esta noche. Amen. Now, why were these people, why did these Chaldeans come and accuse Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? ¿Por qué vinieron estos caldeos a acusar a estos varones de Dios? It says in verse 12. Dice en el versículo 12. There are certain Jews. Hay ciertos varones judíos. They didn't say. No dijeron. There are certain 
servants in your court. Hay algunos siervos en tu corte. They didn't say. No dijeron. There were certain men over there. Ciertos hombres allá. They were very specific. Fueron muy específicos. They said there are certain Jews. Ciertos judíos. You see, when you read the chapters leading up to this, you discover that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, que Sadrach, Mesach, y Abednego along with Daniel, junto con Daniel, would not defile themselves with the things of the Babylonian kingdom. No se contaminaban sí mismos con las cosas babilónicas del reino. They refused Ellos rehusaron to look like the rest of the world. Renegaron verse como el mundo. A matter of fact, They decided to set themselves apart so much. Es más, ellos decidieron apartarse de tal manera. God anointed them with wisdom. Que Dios los ungió with con understanding. Con entendimiento. He gave them dreams. Les dio sueños. Gave them interpretation of dreams. Interpretación de sueños. These men stood apart from everybody else. Estos hombres eran apartados del resto. And people recognized them. Y las personas se daban cuenta de For who they were. Por quienes ellos eran. You see, the enemy may try to put his label on you. El enemigo puede venir a poner un sello sobre usted. But that cannot stop Pero eso no puede the identity that God has inside you. Tiene de usted. It doesn't matter what the enemy says no about you. Lo que el diga de usted. It doesn't matter the label he puts on you. O el sello que el le ponga. He cannot erase that identity of God that is inside of you. Él no puede esa he, can, de Dios que hay de usted. he cannot stop that identity Él no puede esa from rising up in this season. Para de en esta See, much like it was here, Parecida como era en estos tiempos. The world is calling us to compromise the gospel message. El mundo nos está llamando a ser comprometedores o comprometernos con lo que es el evangelio. The world is telling us to preach a light gospel. A predicar un evangelio liviano. The world is telling us don't confront the sin. No confrontes el pecado. The world is telling us just give in to the political correct spirit. El mundo nos dice que tenemos que entrar en lo que es políticamente correcto. Just let everybody else worry about themselves. Deja que cada uno se preocupe por sí mismo. That's the same thing that was happening. Y eso es lo mismo que pasaba en estos tiempos. The enemy was trying to get the Jews el enemigo estaba tratando de sacar a los to judíos to the of the world. o de obligar a los judíos a que doblaran rodillas al sistema del mundo. But they refused to do it. They rose up. Pero ellos se negaron a hacerlo y se they set themselves apart. Ellos se apartaron. They looked different than everybody else. Se veían diferente que el resto. I want you to look at your neighbor tonight. Quiero que vea a su vecino en esta noche. Then I want you to look at the other neighbor on the other side. Take a good long look at that person. Do you see something different in them? Now if you're one of the people that are being looked at, you need to ask yourself, does my neighbor see something different in me? Am I being set apart? Or do I look like everyone else in the world? O me veo como el resto de las personas en el mundo. You see, in order to be a part of the remnant, ve usted para poder ser parte del remanente. In order to walk in your identity, caminar en su identidad. You need to be sure of who you are. Tiene que estar seguro de quién es usted. You need to be sure. Tiene que estar seguro. That you don't look like everybody else. Que usted no se vea o se parezca al resto de las personas. Now we're all inside this building. Todos estamos dentro de este We're all inside this nice, comfortable place. Dentro de este lugar muy cómodo. Presence of God is here. La presencia de Dios está aquí. And we're very comfortable. Y estamos muy cómodos. Saying, I'm a Christian. Yo soy cristiano. I'm a follower of Jesus. Yo soy un seguidor de Jesús. If you're in this place, it's very obvious, isn't si it? Si estás aquí es obvio, ¿no? You wouldn't be here if you weren't. No estarías aquí si no lo fueras. But what happens when you walk out that door? Pero qué pasa cuando te vas por esa puerta? What happens when you go to your job? Cuando te vas a tu trabajo. What happens when you go to school? Cuando vas a la escuela. Are you standing firm? Estás parado firme. In your identity? En tu identidad. Do people see you different? Ven las personas en ti algo diferente. Or do they just look at you? O te miran. And say, oh, there's someone else. Y dicen, ah, otro o otra más. You need to be identified. Tú tienes que ser identificado. In this world. En este mundo. Not by the things of this world. No por las cosas de este mundo. But you need to be identified. Pero ser identificado. By the anointing. Por la unción. By the power. Por el poder. By the authority. Por la autoridad. 
that God has placed on your identity. Que Dios ha puesto sobre su identidad. Now each of you have a very unique identity. Cada uno de ustedes tiene una identidad muy These única. three men. Estos tres hombres. When you read Daniel 1 chapter verse 7. Cuando leen eh, Daniel 1 versículo 7. It lists their three names. Dice sus tres nombres. It lists their three names. Dice sus tres nombres. Now that's important for us to understand. Y eso es importante para nosotros poder entender. Because they were not all lumped together. Porque no estaban los tres juntos. God listed each of them individually. El Señor nombró a cada uno individualmente because they were each had their own individual identity porque cada uno tenía su propia identidad every one of you here tonight cada uno de ustedes aquí, every one of you on the internet ustedes que están en el internet you have a special identity only for you tienen una identidad propia especial solo para ustedes and you need ustedes. to remember that promise y tienen que recordar esta promesa because If you seek the Lord, porque si usted busca al Señor, He's going to teach you that identity. Él le va a enseñar esta identidad. He's going to rise up that identity within you. Él va a nacer esta identidad de usted. And it's not going to be like the person next to you. Y no va a ser como la identidad de su vecino. <laughs> Turn to your neighbor. Vire a su vecino. And say. Y dígale. Don't take this offensively. No te ofendas. But I don't want to be like you. Pero yo no quiero ser como tú. Tell your neighbor. Dígale a su vecino. I want to be. Yo quiero ser who God has called me to be. Dios me ha llamado a ser. Now send a blessing to your neighbor. Ahora, una a su <laughs> Tell your neighbor. A su I bless you. Yo te bendigo. And I pray y yo oro that the Lord que el Señor will show you your identity tu and give you the strength to walk y in it. Te la para en ella. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You need to hear something tonight. Tienen que escuchar algo en esta noche. These three people. Estos tres varones. They heard those Babylonian names every day. Ellos oían estos nombres babilónicos todos los días. Every day the enemy was días. reminding them. El enemigo les hacía recordatorio. Of what the identity the enemy was trying to put upon them. De la identidad que el enemigo quería forjar sobre ellos. But you need to hear something. Pero tienen que escuchar esto. You need to stop listening to the lies of the enemy. Dejen de escuchar a las mentiras del diablo. You need to stop listening. Dejen de escuchar to those lies. A esas mentiras. And you need to hear the voice of your Holy of the Holy Spirit. Escuchen la voz del Espíritu Santo. These three men. Estos tres hombres. Worked in a Babylonian court. Trabajaban en una área babilónica. They were at a high level. Estaban en un nivel alto. God put them in front of people. Dios los puso al frente de personas. God sent them with messages. Los enviaba con mensajes. They were in the public eye. Estaban en un ojo público. And every day. Y todos los días. The enemy came against them. El enemigo se levantaba en contra de ellos. Shadrach. Sadrach. Come here. Ven acá. Meshach. Mesach. Go there. Ve allá. Abednego. Abednego. Do this. Haz esto. They were constantly being reminded. Constantemente se le hacía recordatorio. Don't let the enemy. No deje que el enemigo. Tell you. Le diga. Oh, just go watch that movie. Ah, vete a ver esa película. Oh, just go have a drink. Simplemente vete y date el trago. Oh, run away when the deliverance team comes after you. Cuando venga el equipo de liberación, corre. Those are lies that the enemy wants to put upon Esas son mentiras que el enemigo quiere poner en su mente. To stop you from walking your, in your identity. Para frenarlo de caminar en su identidad. You know it amazes me. Me asombra. How many times? ¿Cuántas veces? We go to minister to someone. Vamos a ministrarle a alguien. And we're like, okay. Y next estamos, Tuesday. Y decimos, okay. El próximo we got a martes, meeting. Tenemos una reunión. We're going to come to your house. Vamos a venir a tu casa. We're going to pray and fast. Vamos a orar y ayunar. We're going to seek the Lord. A buscar al Señor. Because the Lord wants to bring transformation Porque and deliverance to your life. Porque Dios quiere traer transformación a tu vida y liberación. Oh yes, brother, come on. Sí, hermano, vengan. Yes, come on, we want sí, this. Vengan, queremos esto. I want to move forward. Quiero yes. Quiero proseguir hacia adelante, sí. Tuesday comes along. Viene el martes. Se hey, toca la puerta. Um, um, brother. Y se llama hermano. Hey, hey listen, listen. Eh, Listen, I, I, I got this very important phone call from tengo work today. Esta llamada muy importante del trabajo hoy. Yeah, it's it's overtime. Eh, tengo una oportunidad de trabajo you, hoy. You, you know es I need tiempo the, adicional. You know I need the money for, for, Necesito for bills. Necesito el dinero para mis biles. I, I got to cancel our para meeting mis tonight. Deudas, tengo que cancelar la reunión en esta noche. I, you know, I, I, I know that the Lord was going to minister Yo to me. Yo sé que el Señor me va a ministrar en esta noche. But I just can't do it. Pero es que esta noche no puedo. Lies of the enemy. Mentiras del diablo. Now we know we need to work. Sabemos que tenemos que trabajar. We all have bills to pay. Todos tenemos deudas. But it never fails. Pero nunca falla. Every time we go to minister. Cada vez que se va a ministrar. Something gets in the way. Algo, un obstáculo se presenta. The enemy brings something to the person's life. El diablo trae algo hacia la vida de esta persona. 
to remind them para of the things of this world de las cosas de este mundo. and that stops them from seeking the things of the kingdom. Y eso los para a ellos hacia el reino. But these three men were different. Pero estos tres eran no matter what the enemy no importa lo que el enemigo put upon, tried to put upon them de poner sobre ellos, they stood firm in their identity ellos se firme en su identidad, and they walked in that anointing y caminaban en esa unción. let's continue reading Vamos a continuar leyendo. let's look at verse 13. Versículo 13 then Nebuchadnezzar in rage and fury gave the command to bring Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego so they brought these men before the king entonces Nabucodonosor dijo con ira y con enojo que le trajesen a Sadrach, Mesach y Abednego. Al instante fueron traídos estos varones delante del rey. Verse 14, Nebuchadnezzar spoke, saying to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my gods or worship the gold image which I have set up? Habló Nabucodonosor y les dijo, Es verdad, Sadrach, Mesach y Abednego, que vosotros no honráis a mi Dios ni adoráis a la estatua de oro que he levantado. Verse 15, Now, if you are ready at the time you hear the sound of the harp, the flute, the horn, the lair, and the psaltery, and symphony with all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the image I have made, good. But if you do not worship, you shall be cast immediately into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. And who is the God who will deliver you from my hands? Estáis dispuestos para que al oír el son de la bocina, de la flauta, del tamboril, del arpa, del salterio, de la zampoña, y de todo instrumento de música, os postréis y adoréis la estatua que he hecho, porque si no la adoréis, en la misma hora seréis echados en medio de un horno de fuego ardiendo. ¿Y qué Dios será aquel que os libre de mis manos? Isn't it just like the enemy to try to make a deal with you? Esto es tan del enemigo tratar de hacer un trato con usted. In verse 15, versículo 15, he says, dice, if you just bow down to me, si tú sencillamente if you just worship this image that I've made, esta imagen que he hecho, then no problems. Pues no hay All your problems will go away. Todos tus problemas desaparecen. But if you don't, Pero si no lo haces, then I'm going to throw you in this fiery furnace. Entonces te voy a echar al horno de fuego. The enemy will try to make a deal with you every time. El enemigo va a tratar de hacer un pacto con usted o de tratar con usted un trato. Oh, el stop being so radical Ay, for the Lord. Ay, no radical para el Señor. All you need to do is just be calm. Lo único que tienes que hacer es ser calmado. All you need to do is just Be tranquil. Ser tranquilo. Follow the rest of the world. Sigue el resto del mundo. And everything will be okay y for todo you. Estará bien para ti. Have you ever noticed ¿Se han dado cuenta how people who are living in the world como las personas que viven en el mundo seem to always have all this money and seems to, it always seems este to be they rise to the top of the success ladder? Cima. Have you ever wondered why? ¿Se han preguntado por qué? Have you ever thought to yourself why? ¿Han pensado alguna vez por qué? Because the enemy Porque el enemigo doesn't care about them. No le importa sobre sus he's vidas. already got them trapped. Ya los tiene atrapados. And he's going to keep lifting them up y él va a seguir exaltándolos and, and bringing all this stuff to their lives, all these worldly todas things, estas cosas a sus vidas, todas estas cosas mundanas. so they have no need to see God. Para que no tengan la necesidad de buscar a Dios. Now there's nothing wrong with blessings. No hay nada mal con bendiciones. We believe in blessings in this house, amen. En esta casa, amen. Many of you are blessed in this house, amen. But the problem is Pero el problema es, when you turn your focus on all those worldly things cuando usted torna su enfoque en las cosas de este mundo, and you give in to the lies of the enemy. Y cede a las mentiras del diablo. See, the enemy wants to try to pull us into negotiations. El enemigo quiere que usted negocie con él. He wants to try to get us into negotiations with him con él. to try to compromise Para tratar de the message that God has given el us. Que Dios nos ha dado. Oh, don't confront that person. Ay, no vayas y confrontes a aquella persona. They're going to leave the church. Se van a ir de la iglesia. It's better just to let them be there. Déjalo que estén ahí. The numbers are better. Los números son mejor. You need to fill the church. Tienes que llenar la iglesia. So don't confront the sin. Así que no confrontes el pecado. We're not after a full church. No estamos siguiendo tras una iglesia llena. We're after full believers, Estamos amen. Siguiendo un cuerpo lleno de creyentes. People full of the Holy Spirit. Personas llenas del Espíritu Santo. People who are walking lives of transformation. Que caminan en vida de transformación. People who have left the things of this world behind. Que atrás las cosas de este mundo. People who are seeking their true identity. Que están buscando su verdadera identidad. Now, if you don't bow down. Ahora, si usted no se arrodilla. You say, nope, I'm going to stand firm. I'm going to that deliverance meeting. Y usted dice, no, me voy a parar firme y voy detrás de esa reunión de liberación. You can be sure. 
usted puede estar seguro the enemy is going to bring a threat against your life el diablo va a traer de poner una amenaza en contra de su vida <laughs> look what he did to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego if you don't bow down to me si no doblan rodilla, I got a fire over here that's waiting for you tengo un hornito aquí esperándolo If you go to that deliverance time, si esa liberación, I'm going to take your job away from you. Te voy a quitar el trabajo. If you go to that home church meeting, si te a ir a esa reunión de iglesia hogar, I'm going to steal your job and your blessings. Te voy a robar tu trabajo y tu bendición. I'm going to steal your family. Te voy a robar tu familia. It sounds just like the enemy, right? Se escucha como el enemigo, ¿no? How many of you have had to fight that battle? ¿Cuántos de ustedes han tenido que batallar en I see a lot of hands going up. Muchas and... manos subiendo. Let me tell you. Decirle, I fight that battle all the time. Yo lucho con esto todo el tiempo. You know, the enemy always wants to try. El enemigo siempre quiere tratar to stop you from walking in your de blessings. Frenar de que usted camine en su bendición. But tell your neighbor. Dígale a su vecino. The harder the enemy comes after you. Mientras más duro el enemigo venga en contra de usted. The bigger the blessing. Lo, la mayor bendición. The higher the calling. El llamado será más alto. And the more powerful anointing. Y más unción poderosa. So I'm believing. Así que yo estoy creyendo. If you're going to give it to the Lord, give Amen. it to the Lord. Señor. Amen. So I'm believing. Yo estoy creyendo. That the Lord. Que el Señor. Has something beautiful for this house. Tiene algo hermoso para esta casa. I believe. Yo creo. That the Lord has an anointing. Que el Señor tiene un unción. That He's going to release over this house. Que él va a desatar sobre esta casa. To bring casa glory and honor to His para name. Para dar gloria y honor a su so nombre. So if you're here tonight. Así que si usted está that aquí esta noche, for you. esa promesa es para usted. Amen. Amen. Now that's what the enemy was doing. Eso era lo que el diablo estaba haciendo. Now let's see what the What Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did. Ahora vamos a ver qué hicieron Sadrach, Mesach y Abednego. Verse 16. Versículo 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. Sadrach, Mesach y Abednego respondieron al rey Nabucodonosor diciendo, No es necesario que te respondamos sobre este asunto. Verse 17. If this is the case, O oh God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and He will deliver us from Your hand, O oh King. He aquí nuestro Dios, a quien servimos, puede librarnos del horno de fuego ardiendo, y tu mano, O oh Rey, nos librará. But if not, let it be known to you, O oh King, that we do not serve Your gods, nor will we worship the gold image which You have set up. Y si no, sepas, O oh Rey que no serviremos a tus dioses ni tampoco adoraremos la estatua que has levantado. Now you need to get ready. Ahora tienen que alistarse. Because in these passages Porque en estos pasajes is your clue for victory. Está la clave para su victoria. It is the clue for the remnant. La clave para el remanente. To be able to rise up in this season. Para que puedan levantarse en esta temporada. These three verses. Estos tres versículos. Hold the key. Tienen la clave. To unlocking your identity. Para desatar su identidad. The first one is in verse 16. La primera se encuentra en el versículo 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to King, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. Sadrach, Mesach, y Abednego respondieron al rey Nabucodonosor diciendo, No es necesario que te respondamos sobre este asunto. Stop debating with the enemy. Deje de tratar con el diablo. Stop debating with him. Deje de discutir con See, the, él. the enemy wants to try to pull you into a debate. El diablo quiere llevarle usted a una discusión. He wants to try to pull you into a conversation and dialogue with him. Tratar de llevarle usted a una conversación y un diálogo. Because if he can get you dialoguing with him, porque si él puede agarrar su atención para If he can get you debating él, with him, para que usted tenga un debate con él, then he can put that seed of doubt in your mind. Entonces ya puede poner esa duda, esa semilla de duda en su mente. How many of you ¿Cuántos de ustedes have been walking in a calling that the Lord has given you or a purpose caminando en el propósito que Dios les ha dado and all of a sudden someone comes to you y de repente alguien viene and says oh that's not for you y le dice eso no es para usted and then you stand there y entonces usted se para ahí and you begin to debate with the people y empieza a discutir con la persona you begin to talk with them a hablar con ellos and say no the Lord has told me y dice no el Señor me dijo no no the Lord has given me direction el Señor me ha dado dirección and then when you leave that conversation y cuando entonces usted deja esta conversación you begin to doubt Usted empieza a dudar. Those words Esas palabras begin to resonate in your mind. Empiezan a retumbar en su mente. Man, maybe, maybe the Lord is, is really calling me not Quizás to do this. Quizás el Señor en realidad me ha llamado a no hacer esto. May, 
Maybe that person's right. Quizás esta persona tiene razón. Maybe I, maybe I need to rethink this. Quizás tengo que revisitar el asunto. See, if you allow the enemy de usted, si usted le permite al diablo to pull you into a debate, que lo lleve a un debate, he will steal your blessing. él le va a robar su bendición. He will steal your identity. Le va a robar su identidad. And he will rob you y él le va a robar of your identity and the call on your life. de su identidad y el llamado sobre su vida. Now I can hear it now. Puede escucharlo ahora. Apostle Nevi gets phone calls. Apostle Nevi tiene llamadas. Scott said, Scott dijo, "My home church leader can't correct me. Mi líder de mi iglesia hogar no me puede corregir. They're giving me directions. Me están dando direcciones. That I need to follow what the Lord is telling me. Tengo que seguir lo que And not what the leaders are telling me. No lo que el líder está diciendo. I'm telling you right now that's a lie Le estoy from Satan. Estoy diciendo que eso es una mentira del diablo. I'm not talking about the direction that the leaders bring to your life. Yo no estoy hablando de la dirección que el líder trae sobre su vida. You need to listen to your home church leaders. Usted tiene que escuchar a sus líderes. You need to listen to the direction of Apostle Nebi and Dee. dirección de Apóstol Nebi y Dee. You need to listen to the voice of those who've been placed in authority over you. Escuche las voces de aquellos que han sido puestos como autoridad sobre ustedes. Because they'll bring blessings to your life. Porque eso va a traer bendición sobre su vida. What this verse is talking about. Lo que este versículo quiere decir. Is entertaining and dialoguing. Es entretener un diálogo. With the enemy. Con el diablo. Not with the God appointed authorities in your life. No con la autoridad que Dios ha puesto sobre su vida. King Nebuchadnezzar el rey Nebuchadnezzar represented the voice of the Babylonian world. Representó la voz babilónica del mundo. That's who they were de- that's who they were not debating with. Y con él no estaban discutiendo. Okay, are we clear? Estamos claros? So tell your neighbor. Dígale a su vecino. Don't listen to the lies of the enemy. No escucha las mentiras del diablo. Don't get into a debate. No se meta en un diálogo. So that's your first clue. Esa es la primera clave. When you learn your identity, cuando usted aprende su identidad, do not let the enemy debate it. No permita que el diablo le discuta. Because if you do, porque si lo permite, he will bring doubt and confusion to your mind. Va a traer confusión y duda sobre su mente. Okay? Amen. Your second clue. La segunda clave. Comes in verse 17. Versículo 17. They said, if this is the case, O oh God, our God, whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning furnace and he will deliver us from your hand O king He aquí nuestro dios a quien servimos puede librarnos del horno de fuego ardiendo y de tu mano oh rey nos librará These three men estos tres hombres knew where their help came from sabían de dónde venía su socorro They put their hope y ellos pusieron their su faith, esperanza su fe, their trust su uh, confianza only in the lord solo en dios Notice they didn't say. Se dan cuenta que ellos no dijeron. Oh king have mercy. Oh rey ten misericordia. Oh Nebuchadnezzar spare our lives. Oh Nebuchadnezzar por favor libra nuestras vidas. No. No. They said our God. Dijeron nuestro Dios. Who is stronger than you. Que es más fuerte que tú. Is going to deliver us nos from your hand. Nos va a librar de tu mano. You need to stand firm. Tú tienes que pararte firme. In this season. En esta temporada. Knowing that God will fight for you. Sabiendo que Dios va a pelear por usted. God has the power. Dios tiene el poder. To deliver you. De liberarlo. From everything. De todo. That the enemy is going to try to bring into your life. Lo que el diablo va a tratar de poner en su vida. Have confidence. Tenga confianza. So that's your second clue. Y esa es la segunda clave. You need to have confidence in the Lord. Tiene que tener confianza en Dios. You do not need to have confidence in the world. No confianza en el mundo. You do not have, need to have confidence in your job. Confianza en su trabajo. You do not need to have confidence. Confianza. In what the the world is trying to say. En lo que el mundo está tratando de decir. You need to have confidence in one place and one place only. Usted tiene que tener confianza en un lugar solamente. In Jesus Christ. En Jesús. Amen. Amen. The third clue. El ter- la tercera clave. Is in verse 18. Está en el versículo 18. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up. Y si no, sepas, oh rey, que no serviremos a tus dioses, ni tampoco adoraremos la estatua que has levantado. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Estos tres hombres, Sadrach, Mesach y Abednego. Refused to settle for the things of the world of that day. Ellos renegaron a hacerse eh, a, a lidiar o a tratar, tra- tra- perdonen, con las cosas de este mundo. They were not content to accept the things that the world Ellos was no trying to offer them. Ellos no quisieron conformarse con las cosas de este mundo y no aceptaron lo que el mundo les quería dar. They wanted the truth. Ellos querían la verdad. They were not willing to settle. Y no estaban dispuestos 
a tratar con las cosas for anything less than what God had for them. o hacer un pacto conformarse con cualquier cosa menos de lo que Dios tenía If para you ellos want to be a part of the remnant, si usted quiere ser parte de un remanente si usted quiere caminar en esta identidad then you need to let go entonces usted tiene que soltar of the things of this world. las cosas de este mundo Don't settle for those things. no se conforme con esto Don't let the world no, no deje que el mundo influence your decisions eh, hay una influencia sobre Don't su vida, let the world no deje que el mundo tell you how to act. le diga cómo usted Don't tiene let que actuar the no deje que el mundo get you into a false sense of hope. le lleve a un sentido falso de esperanza you need to stand firm usted tiene que pararse firme and let go of the things of this world. y soltar las cosas de este mundo you know, I look around at so many people in this area Miro alrededor, mira, hay tantas personas en esta área and I'm praying for the day y estoy orando para el día that the Lord opens up other jobs que el Señor abra otras puertas para otros empleos so that people have more options other than working in the hospitality uh, industry para que las personas tengan otra opción a trabajar en lo que es turismo because the enemy is trying to get porque el enemigo está tratando everyone in this area a todo, que todo el mundo en esta área to serve that sirva en el área de hospitalidad turismo hoteles He's filling people's schedules él está llenando las agendas los horarios de las filling personas, it so they can't come to home church filling it so they no puedan servir en el filling their days so they can't go and enjoy time with their families para que no puedan pasar tiempo con su familia and it, We need to pray for the day y tenemos que orar para el día that the Lord opens up other job opportunities so that idol of hospitality can be broken down and we can glorify God. Y Amen. Glorificar a Dios. Now I notice some of you are looking with a little bit of face of like oh boy tell your neighbor your hope is on the way right now because we're going to read what God did so I want you to wake up I want you to grab your Bible I want you to be alert because the blessings are coming Daniel chapter 3 verse 19 versículo 19 so what are the three things first of all what are the three clues uh huh do not get into a debate with the enemy that's one be confident in the Lord and don't bow down you cannot bow down in this season folks if you bow down the enemy is going to step on your head the only thing you need to bow down to is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob amen now if you follow those three principles if you stand firm in those promises if you let those directions resonate in your spirit retumbe en su ser the blessings are coming la bendición llega the blessings are coming la bendición va a llegar now when you look at verse 19 and 25 cuando ve los versículos 19 al 25 you'll see where King Nebuchadnezzar ve donde rey Nebuchadnezzar oh he got mad él se molestó he was so mad él estaba furioso he says that's it y decía se acabó I'm done with you guys ya estoy harto de ustedes I'm done with this God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob estoy harto con este Dios get that fire hot Pongan ese fuego arder. And he threw the men in y the los fire. tiró, los lanzó al fuego. He threw the men in the fire. Los lanzó al fuego. The enemy desires to put you in a fire. El diablo quiere lanzarlo usted al fuego. But don't worry. Pero no se preocupe. I want you to look at what happened. Miren lo que pasó. Look at verse 24. Versículo 24. It says, Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished, and he rose in haste and spoke, saying to his counselors, Did we not cast three men bound in the midst of the fire? They answered and said to the king, True, O king. Entonces el rey Nabucodonosor se espantó y se levantó apresuradamente y dijo a los de su consejo, ¿No echaron a tres varones atados dentro del fuego? Ellos respondieron al rey, ¿Es verdad, O rey? Look at verse 25. Look, he answered. I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they are not hurt And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. 
Y él dijo, he aquí yo veo cuatro varones sueltos que se pasean en medio del fuego sin sufrir ningún daño. Y el aspecto del cuarto es semejante al hijo de los dioses. When you follow those three protocols, Cuando usted sigue estos tres protocolos, the enemy's going to throw you in a fire, el diablo va a querer lanzarlo al fuego, lo but va a you can be sure Pero usted puede estar seguro that as long as you stay obedient to those three protocols, que mientras usted se mantenga obediente a los God himself is going to meet you Dios in the middle of that fire. Le va a usted, se va And it is not going to harm you. Con usted en el fuego y el fuego Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But you need to follow those three principles. Pero que estos tres Because if you bow down to the king of Nebuchadnezzar, si rodillas, Rey Nebuchadnezzar, if you bow down to the things of this world, a las cosas de este mundo, you're going to stay in that fire te vas a en ese fuego until you cry out. Hasta que tú Now it's interesting, when I was researching this passage, Ahora es interesante, cuando estaba haciendo búsqueda sobre este pasaje bíblico, There is a writing that is, uh, it's, an, uh, acro, uh, it's part of the books that are not actually part of the Bible. Yeah, that word, thank you. <laughs> But there is in one of those books, Pero en uno de esos libros, it's called The Song of the Three Holy Children. Se llama la canción de los tres hijos santos. Now, I don't want to focus on this, no but que nos en esto, that pero song is the song es la that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego sang when they were in the midst of the fire. Shadrach, Meshach, y Abednego cantaron en medio del fuego. How many of you, as soon as you hit a fire, de ustedes tan pronto le dan al fuego, you begin crying. Empiezan a llorar. Oh, Lord, why? Ay, Señor, ¿por qué? Why did you put me here? Why am I going through these challenges? Look what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did. Hallelujah, Lord. May the heavens bless your name. May the, fame, may the flames bless your name. May the smoke bless your name. May everything here bless your name. They sang a song to God in the midst of the fire. Do you think you have the strength to, to, to sing a song in the midst of the fire? Now, it's my belief This isn't in the word. No es que esté en la palabra. It's my belief es mi that that song in the que midst of the fire called the attention of God. Llamó la atención de Dios. And God said, y Dios dijo, Whoa! Espérate. Look at my three servants. Mira mis tres siervos. I need to go be with them. Yo tengo que estar con ellos. You want to call the attention of God? ¿Quieres llamar la atención de Dios? Then you need to start lifting your hands pues and praising Him. Amen? Y a él. Amen? It doesn't matter no importa. what trial The enemy puts you in. El diablo ha puesto en su camino. Doesn't matter. No importa. What matters? Lo que importa is your attitude in the midst of that es trial. Actitud en medio de esa prueba. There's a lot of trials coming to this nation. Hay muchas pruebas que vienen a esta nación. A few weeks ago the Lord gave me a word. Unas semanas atrás el Señor me dio una palabra. In Mark chapter 9 verse 49. En Marcos capítulo 9 versículo 49. It says dice Every every offering will be seasoned with fire. Toda ofrenda será sazonada con fuego. Every one will be seasoned with fire. Cada una será eh, sazonada con fuego. Every one will be seasoned with fire. Cada una será sazonada con fuego. The Lord told me. El Señor me dijo. I'm sending fire to my church. Estoy enviando fuego a mi iglesia. I'm sending fire to my people. Estoy enviando fuego a mi Because pueblo. Because I want to see Porque yo quiero ver that remnant ese remanente Rise up levantarse and bless my name. y bendecir mi nombre. You can be sure there's fires usted puede asegurarse coming. que el fuego ya se aproxima. But how are you going to react in those fires? Pero ¿cómo usted va a reaccionar en medio del fuego? When you read the rest of verse 49, Cuando usted lee el resto del versículo 49, it says those offerings will be seasoned with salt. Dice que estas ofrendas serán sazonadas con sal. That fire in your life el fuego en tu vida has one purpose. Tiene un solo propósito. To strengthen you fortalecer to purify you purificar and to equip you. y equiparlo It's designed está diseñado to focus your dependence on God. para enfocar su dependencia en Dios It's designed es diseñado to put you in a position para ponerlo en una posición where your soul desire donde su alma anhela is for him only. solo a Él Amen. Amen. Now as I was saying Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego Sadrach, Misak, y Abednego. They were singing in the midst of this Ellos fire. Estaban adorando en medio de este fuego. And I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, y yo dije, Señor, why didn't you just come down ¿por qué no sencillamente viniste and stop those men from going in the fire? Y frenaste a que esos hombres los tiraran al fuego. 
Why did you let them go through that fire? ¿Por qué los dejaste entrar al fuego? You are all powerful. Tú eres poderoso. You are all knowing. Tú eres el que todo lo sabe. You could have stepped in. Tú pudiste haber entrado. You could have struck Nebuchadnezzar down. Pudiste haber matado al rey. You've done it before. Lo has hecho antes. Why did you not do it here? Why did you let these men go into no the fire? ¿Por qué no lo hiciste aquí? Permitiste que ellos entraran al horno. Do you want to know why? ¿Quieren saber por qué? I didn't hear anyone say yes. Nadie dijo sí. Okay, help me preach tonight, amen? Ayúdeme a predicar en esta noche, amen? You need to look at the rest of those verses. Tiene que ver el resto de estos versículos. Verse 26. Versículo 26. Then Nebuchadnezzar went near the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spoke, saying, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out and come here. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came from the midst of the fire. Entonces Nabucodonosor se acercó a la puerta del horno de fuego ardiente y dijo, Sadrach, Mesach y Abednego, siervos de Dios altísimo, salid y venid. Entonces Sadrach, Mesach y Abednego salieron de en medio del fuego. Jump down to verse 28. Brinquen al versículo 28. Nebuchadnezzar spoke, saying, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel and delivered his servants who trusted in him and they have frustrated the king's words and yielded their bodies that they should not serve nor worship any god except their own god Entonces Nabucodonosor dijo Bendito sea el Dios de ellos de Sadrach, Mesach y Abednego que envió a su ángel y libró a sus siervos que confiaron en él y que no cumplieron el edicto del rey y entregaron sus cuerpos antes que servir y adorar a otro dios que no sea su dios. God let Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Dios permitió que estos tres siervos go through the fire pasaran a través del fuego so that his name could be glorified. Para que su nombre fuera exaltado. Did you see the way the attitude of the king changed? ¿Ve usted cómo la actitud del rey cambió? Did you see how he looked at them? ¿Ven cómo él los miró? And he said, "Blessed be the name of the God of, of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego." Y dijo, "Bendito sea el rey de estos tres siervos de Sadrach, Mesach y Abednego." When you go Abednego, through those trials, cuando usted pasa por el And God delivers you out of them. Dios lo liberta y lo saca de esto. It's going to bring honor and glory to his name. Eso va a traer gloria y honor the purpose of those fires in your life is so that he can glorify himself in you so that he can use you as a voice and you notice Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego didn't do anything all they did was say Lord we put our trust in you that's all you need to do in this season don't debate no discuta. Be confident. Tenga confianza. And be separate from this world. Y apártese de este mundo. And when the fires come to your life, cuando el fuego venga a su vida, God is not going to necessarily stop those fires. Dios no necesariamente va a frenar esos fuegos. But He has a promise. Pero él tiene una promesa. To walk with you through those fires. Que él va a caminar con usted a través del fuego. And it has the sole purpose. Y tiene el propósito of bringing glory and honor to His name. De solamente traer gloria y honor a su nombre. That is the purpose of your identity. Ese es el propósito de su that identidad. is the purpose of why God has created you. And like I said, each person has a different calling. Como le dije, toda persona tiene un llamado diferente. Each person has a different identity. Cada persona tiene una identidad It's diferente. up to you to discover that identity. Depende de usted saber cuál es esa identidad. It's up to you to ask the Lord. Depende de usted preguntarle al Señor. It's up to you to depend on Him. Depende de usted depender de él. It's up to you to seek Him. Depende de usted buscarlo a él. And when you do that, y cuando usted hace esto, he'll meet you where you're at. Él le va a alcanzar donde usted está. When you bless his name, cuando usted bendice su nombre, he will come to your aid. Él va a venir a rescatarlo. And he will deliver you. Y él lo va a liberar. So that you can walk in your identity. Para que puedas caminar en tu identidad. Now I want you to stand on your feet. Póngase de pie. I want you to grab your Bible tonight. Coja su Biblia en esta noche. We're going to read Daniel 3 verse 30. Vamos a leer Daniel 3 versículo 30. We're going to read this verse aloud. Vamos a leerlo en voz alta. Because there's a promise for you tonight. Porque hay una promesa para usted en esta noche. There's a couple promises that the hay, Lord is Hay un, un par de promesas para usted. But this first promise. Pero esta primera promesa. Now I don't care 
no me importa if you've been walking with the Lord for 20 years si usted ha por 20 años, I don't care if this is your first night in a church service if this is your first night si esta es su noche, I want to encourage you make that commitment to the Lord tonight haga esa del Señor en esta noche. right where you're at Ahí donde está. just lift your hands sus manos and say Lord y diga, Señor, I want you to be in my life que estés en mi vida. Lord I want that identity Señor, yo esa I want to receive yo that confidence esa, eh, why don't, I want to receive that confidence in you esa en ti. why don't we just lift our hands Vamos a manos. before we read verse 30, Antes de que el 30 I think we need to spend a time with the Lord que pasar un con el Señor. I think we need to get before God del Señor. and I think we need to give of ourselves y darnos just like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego in the midst of that fire many of you tonight are facing fires in your life and the Lord is asking you tonight are you going to worship me? are you going to focus on the fire? so let's lift our hands to God tonight let's just begin focusing our attention on God tonight we'll read verse 30 in a few minutes but I feel the Lord wants to hear your voice the Lord wants to hear you lifting your voice to him the Lord wants to hear you calling the attention of his ear Father we thank you Father we need you Lord Father we bless your name Lord we lift our voice tonight Father may every situation come to be a blessing to your name may everything that we do Lord Father be a blessing to your name Father may we Lord be focused on you Lord deliver me tonight ask the Lord to deliver you tonight ask the Lord to deliver you whatever's bothering you tonight ask the Lord to meet you right there some of you have some health issues the Lord can deliver you but bless his name let that inf infirmary let that, that sickness be turned to a blessing for his name give it to him I don't hear you lift your voice I know you have things that are bothering you we minister in the home churches we hear you throughout the week I know you need the Lord tonight I know those of you on the internet need the Lord tonight he wants to hear your voice tonight he wants you to lift your voice to him Father hear your people tonight Father so many fires so many tribulations Lord but Father we know Lord that you Lord are the one that we place our hope and trust in we know Lord that you are the only one that can deliver us Lord from the hands of the enemy we know Lord that you are the only one that can bring the strength that we need Father hear the cries of your people tonight people of God the enemy has an assignment for your life el enemigo tiene una asignatura para su vida and your strength y tu fuerza is going to be only in him solo va a estar en él what's distracting you tonight qué lo está distrayendo en esta noche what's distracting you tonight qué lo está distrayendo en esta noche brother what's distracting you tonight hermano qué te está distrayendo to keep you from moving into his presence qué te está frenando a que tú te muevas de la don't let those distractions stop you no deja que esta distracción te the lord has a blessing for your life tonight el señor tiene una bendición para tu vida the lord has a blessing for you el señor tiene una bendición para ti it's not by accident you came in that doorway no es un accidente que tú estás aquí it's not by accident that you're here no es un accidente que has llegado because the lord wants to speak to you porque el señor quiere hablarte the lord wants to speak to you el señor quiere hablarte a ti the lord wants to speak to all of us tonight the Lord wants to minister to our lives he's called you here tonight is he going to hear your voice tonight I'm not going to do it 
Holy Spirit's going to do it. Yo no lo voy a hacer. El Espíritu Santo Because lo that's lo how He's going to show Himself Porque to you. Así es como él se va a revelar a He called you here for an él appointment with Him. Para una cita con él. You're here for a Ustedes purpose. Están aquí para un You're here for a purpose. Están aquí para un And tonight y esta noche is your appointment es su cita to give everything to Him. Para entregarle todo a él. I'm going to ask some people to pray for our voy brothers right here. A que oren por estos siervos. And I'm going to ask Pam or Denise, can you pray for the sisters over here? Joe? The rest of you, lift your hands. Cry out to God tonight. Cry out to God tonight. Cry, let him hear your voice tonight. There is no one like our God. There is no one greater than our God. There is no one greater. He has overcome. Él ha vencido. Receive that tonight. En esta noche. Receive his strength tonight. Receive his blessings tonight. Receive it. Recibelo. Give him the praise and glory. I'm going to give space to the Holy Spirit right now to minister to your life. Have a time with the Lord tonight. Take time. I can see the Holy Spirit moving right now. The Holy Spirit is calling this sister right here. He's standing right with you right now. He wants to touch you right now. All you have to do is give it to Him. If you need prayer, raise your hand and someone will come pray with you. He's touching you right now. You can feel Him. There's someone on the internet tonight. You've been asking the Lord. Lord, how long? How long, Lord? You can be sure. The Lord has heard your cry. And tonight, if you make that decision for Him, if you make that decision to surrender it to Him and stop asking Him how long, He'll meet you in the middle of that fire. That's for you, sister. I see him touching many of you right now. But I still see some of you that are having a hard time letting go. If you're having challenges, lift your hands with me tonight. And I want you to say with me tonight, Dear Lord Jesus, I need you. I need you to meet me where I'm at. Dear Lord Jesus, send your Holy Spirit to fill my life. Send your Holy Spirit to give me the strength that I need. Lord, I'm not asking that you take me out of the fire. Lord, I'm asking that you, Lord, would be with me in the middle of that fire. Lord, I'm asking that you, Lord, would come and be with me. The Lord is honoring your prayer tonight. Don't let the enemy steal that blessing. Lift your hands and just give it to him. Just lift your hands and begin praising God. Let's just worship the Lord.
Some of you are still being prayed for. We want to release that promise. Daniel 3, verse 30. Grab your Bible. I want you to grab your Bible. And I want you to say to the Lord, I claim every promise of your word for my life. And tonight the Lord's going to give you a beautiful promise. It comes in verse 30 of chapter 3 of Daniel. Are you ready? I want you to read it out loud with me. Then the king pronounced, promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. If you seek the Lord, if you walk in your identity, if you will not be compromised by this world, there's a promotion coming to your life. There is an anointing coming. The Lord's going to promote you. People are going to see you different. 
they're going to say I need to follow that person because I see that God's grace and favor is on them I need to know that person and find out what is different about them now remember the enemy gave those three men a Babylonian name but I told you at the beginning of this teaching that God gave them a name would you like to know what their Hebrew names were would you like to know what it means would you like to receive more blessings then I want you to get ready Shadrach his Hebrew name was Hananiah do you know what that means Jah is gracious God is gracious that's a promise for you tonight that the grace of God is over your life Meshach his Hebrew name Mishil Mishil the meaning who is like God who is like our God who is like our God remember that no one is like our God he is high above every power every principality every scheme of the enemy Abednego his Hebrew name Azariah meaning God has helped meaning God has helped how many of you have been helped by the Holy Spirit tonight you see that promise has already come to your life God has helped you need to remember people of God that when God delivers you out of that fire when he takes you out of that place you need to remember that it was he who helped you to bring glory to his name let's give glory to his name tonight amen let's lift our voice and let's worship him tonight hallelujah